Seven fan, welcome back to my black you might just want to be big. So let's talk about Chickson. Yes, it's pronounced Chickson. Yes, as the owner. Yes, that is how it's pronounced. So Chickson is located at 1407 Southwest Boulevard in Kansas City, Kansas. So it's just right over that line. So it's in Kansas City, Kansas, not Kansas City, Missouri. Don't ask me why they did that. It's for the city between two states. Don't know. But Chickson is a chicken burger concept realized. So the thing about Chickson is uh, instead of burger patties, you got chicken patties. They're delicious too. How do I know? I've had three of them. My train's watching. Not the same time. Not on the same day. I'm not going to tell you which ones I had. Okay, I'm going to tell you which ones I had, but it's going to be later in the video. So I got a chance to talk to the owner. Chickson was born out of the necessity of needing to create something new because District Biscuit, unfortunately, had to close down due to COVID. Um, from what I understand from people telling me, those biscuits were bomb. And I really wanted one, but because of COVID, that really had to take a back burner um, to a lot of other things. And... Um, it was like a grand opening, grand closing due to COVID. COVID messed up things for everyone. The brother's resilient. He bounced back. He has a new place. Here's a picture so you know exactly where it said when you place your order. It is not a sit-down establishment. Place your order online. You come up to the window. You pay for your food. They hang your food through the window. And keep moving. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about the foods, by what's going to piss my train off to what's going to piss my train off. None of this is going to make him happy. I am pretty sure he's going to destroy every muscle fiber I have when we have a one-on-one -on -one session um, in the 12th of never, in the year of 20, never, ever, ever, ever. Yeah. So I had the Cookie Monster, which is their Blue Velvet Oreo Cheesecake Brownie. Pretty good. You got cheesecake in the middle, Blue Velvet Cake, brownie on the top. So it's kind of like this layered dessert it's complex it's, you know you get layers upon layers of flavor pretty good but it's not busting like that blue velvet brownie <laughs> that was way better than me i'm just gonna keep it a buck with you it is a blue velvet brownie with oreo crust simple but effective mad delicious mad delicious and then we're going to talk about the jalapeno cheddar beef bacon Beef bacon, baconed beef, waffle cornbread, and that's exactly what you think it is. It is cornbread, not the Jiffy stuff. We ain't talking about that, that bull. It is cornbread that has been waffled with jalapeno cheddar and beef bacon inside of it. Magnifique. Delicious. Delicious. If you just want something simple, delicious. Now my train is gonna be pissed because it's a ton of carbs. It is what it is. I just have to. I'm doing this for you guys. Hit that. So go to the like button. Smash the like button. All right. I'm. I am taking one for you guys. Okay. In the name of science. All right. For you. I'm. I'm. For you. Be appreciative. Delicious. Right, right. So, um, but then they had another something. They had something else, man. Look, they had the jerk chicken chili with the regular waffle cornbread. <sighs> now, let me preface this by saying this is something you probably want to have at home on a plate. Um, they, of course, they it's put into go containers. It's separated. It's very well packaged, um, as you can see right here. And that's cool. But as I was eating it, I noticed... I, I kind of think I understand how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to have the waffle on the plate with the jerk chicken chili on top of the waffle. So as you're eating into the waffle with the jerk chicken chili, it is permeating the waffle. And the flavors are combining to become something magnificent. So it, it, it it's the chili itself is super awesome. The waffle, it's the, the cornbread waffle is a standard, you know, uh, cornbread item you know it's, it's kind of like hot water cornbread if i had a plate where it's time to ingratiate itself into the cornbread and let the cornbread absorb and sop up when was the last time you heard that word sop up 
the juices or the chili, it would probably have been that much better. So it was good, but I'm just saying if I could have had it the way I think it was meant to be had, it'd probably be that much better, like that much better off the screen. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like that's delicious as well. But then we had the chicken burgers. Let's get into them. So I got my, of course, I got my uh, laptop in front of me because I want to make sure I give you guys the right information. So I'm going to talk about all that they have, but I'm, and I'm going to tell you which ones I had. So, if you just want something, you know, a little light, they got the chicken mini, which is a quarter pound chicken burger. Made, uh, it's made with pickles and their house sauce. Cool. Then they have the culture. I At the time of this video, I actually had the culture. It's a half pound chicken burger, sliced tomato, citrus, slaw. Good. I'm not a big fan of slaw at all, but this was good. Caramelized onions, Swiss cheese, and jerk aioli. I'm going to skip this one because it's my favorite. They have the Little Chief, which is a half pound chicken burger, romaine lettuce, tomato, sliced onion, pickles, American cheese, beef, bacon, and hot sauce. They have the Chief, which is a one pound burger. Somebody accidentally ordered that for me. I'm not going to talk about it. I just I was baffled when I had it. I was like, what well, I paid for it is already here. It's a one pound chicken burger, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, sliced onions, pickles, American cheese, beef bacon, and house sauce. So real quick, the beef bacon is actually very delicious. It is very delicious. It is a little bit different in texture than regular bacon, but it's delicious. So I, I, I can't fight against that. Then this, they have this, this thing called the heavy. The heavy is one and a half pounds of burger. So you get a one and a half pound chicken burger, romaine lettuce, tomato, sliced onions, pickles, American cheese, beef, bacon, house sauce. They even state on here in the description, this burger isn't for the weak of heart. Can you handle the heavy? Can you handle it? That's a damn good question. It's like what everything, like when they say, when they, when they package it, and you get it, it's literally heavy. Like, you, you, it's almost, it's right under two pounds when you get it. So that's a beast, you know what I'm saying? It's only for big boys. Then we have my favorite. This is absolutely my favorite chicken burger, the Monarch. The Monarch is a half pound chicken burger, romaine lettuce, sliced tomato, caramelized onions, sliced jalapenos, beef bacon, cheddar cheese, and bourbon barbecue sauce. Bussin'. Banging, beating down the block like 415s and an old school Cadillac. That's that is the one that is for me personally speaking. That is one. Let me show you some real quick one more time. Birdman hands rubbing together. That's the one. The Monarch is my favorite, absolutely hands down. I can have that over again. It's just the marriage of flavors really bring it all together. Um, and the, the you know, the pretzel bun down to the way it's layered. Oh, it's the one. It is absolutely the one. Now, with that being said, make sure you hit all the links in the description. If you're in the Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas area, head over to Chixon. Chixon, C-H-I-X-E-N. Pronounce C-H-I-C-K-S-O-N. So go ahead and head over to Chixon, Kansas City, located off of 1407 Southwest Boulevard in Kansas City, Kansas, and let them know big, big for my black universe sent you. Peace. And I say, let go. It's chilly. I want you to be on camera like this. This is impromptu. Chili's busting. It's busting. Yeah.